time for another episode of Drum Hacks, a part of this channel where I give you some practical solutions for some not so practical drumming situations. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to get dents out of a drum head. Before I launch into this thing, I wanna know what your favorite drum head is. What's on your drum kit right now? Put it in the comment section below and let's start a conversation about it. Two disclaimers. First of all, this will not make your drum head sound like new. If you want a new sounding drum head, go buy a new drum head. Will this sound better than a dented drum head? Absolutely. Now the second thing you need to look at is, if you are constantly in your practice time denting your drum heads, you're hitting the drum incorrectly and you need to look at how you're actually playing the drums. At some point in your drumming career, you are going to experience dented drum heads. Now the time that I experience the most is whenever other drummers sit in on my drum kit. The time that comes to mind right now is when we were on tour and we had a band opening for us and he said, hey, can I just use your drums? I said, well, sure, no big deal. <laughs> it, was, it was a big deal. Problem was he must have had arrows as bass drum beaters because those things did more damage to my bass drum head than I've done in my entire career to any bass drum head. Now in that situation, you're on the road, you need to fix things immediately. Maybe you don't have time before the next show. What are we gonna do? Here's a quick fix. Now, for my dented drum head, I've got an Aquarian Classic Clear that I took off my drum set a couple of weeks ago. Just so you know, this head wasn't dented while it was actually on my drum kit. I had to go back and intentionally dent the thing. It was unbelievably hard to put dents in this head. I finally just gave it to my four and seven year old and said, dude, just, just stab the stick in there. Nonetheless, you can see we've got some nasty dents in this. The second thing we need is a hair dryer. Personally, I prefer the Vidal Sassoon Quiet Styler. I find on those days that my hair is just really falling flat, it gives it that real umph it needs. Really any hair dryer will do as long as it gets hot. All you need to do is turn your drum head over, put your hair dryer on its hottest setting, place it about an inch or two from the drum head, not on the drum head, you don't want to melt the thing, and slowly go over the dents from the underside of the drum head. And there you have it. Most of the dents are gone except for the really deep ones. Please remember and be careful. Once you get done with the hair dryer on the drum head, it's gonna be hot. Don't touch it, let it cool off. Is this a perfect solution? No. Will it repair the dents and limp you along until you can get a new head? Absolutely. You just got hacked. Be sure to tune in here every Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday for new uploads. If you're looking to see daily progress in your drumming, follow the link below, take a tour of the members area, see what all a membership has to offer. Don't forget to sign up for the email list and get your free copy of the 30 Days to Better Doubles program. Jump over here to hang out with me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. But regardless of what you do, I'll see you here in the next video.